Hey, hey, it's Bima. Welcome back to Bima's Happy Place. Today we're going to check out another one of the LOL Surprise tweens. And we are going to take a look at Freshest. Now, I have noticed that the name of this series is, there's two different versions. Um, one is the BTWs or the B-tweens. And the other just says LOL Surprise tweens. Um, I'm thinking maybe they just couldn't decide. So they like put out packaging with both. Um, to kind of see, I guess, how people would refer to them and then stick with that one. Um, I, I'm going to go with tweens. So, same same difference, right? Anyways, we're looking at Freshest today. She is adorable. I love her hairstyle. Um, and I'm just curious if I'm going to like her as much as I like Cherry BB. So, here we go. We're going to slide out our box. And she is revealed... Oh my goodness. Okay, so she is super cute. She's super cute. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going to get everything out of here and get her free. We'll open up our surprises and take a look at her room. Alright, so let's take a look at her room. Her room is super cool. She's like the nerdy, um, high-tech, virtual reality chick. She's got, you know, some video game systems and a TV and laptop and kinds of cool things in her room. She has this piece that slides in, so she's got an inflatable little chair, a little alien poster and a black light. And when you slide it in and you flip it down, it then becomes her bed. Her bed has got some cheese puffs on it, a broken cell phone that needs to be charged. I love these little room scenes and they're actually functional since they're big enough to actually play with the doll in. Love it. Um, inside the drawer on her bed we have a surprise wrapped in tissue paper of course. And in this bag we have a um, belt bag or fanny pack that has like a chain. It's very cute. This package was attached to the piece that had the doll. Inside we have, I believe this is her jacket. It is, so we've got this super cute um, metallic colored jacket with some mesh on the sleeves and some little stripes. It does have a real zipper on it, but no zipper pull. Very, very cute. Okay, we'll put that on her in a second. We also have the caboodle case. Hers is a different color than Cherry BB's. Inside here, we have more tissue. And we have her comb. We have her glasses, which are very 90s, early 2000s, <laughs> and then we have some jewelry. So we've got some silver chains, we've got some earrings that are mismatched. So this one is like a chain and a link, and then this one is a circle and a link and then she does have a little tiny silver bangle bracelet and lastly we have her shoe box size five and a half and they are also wrapped in tissue got some platform wedge blue black and white sneakers very very cute she also comes with her little composition book and it has the picture of her from the front and it has the this or that and she chose chill vibes fresh beats and kitty cats and finally let's take a look at our doll she's so cute so I love these twists in her hair these uh, this blue and black hair color is just so cute um, I didn't realize that she had 
the two little pigtails of twist up front and then another one in the back um adorable she's got these tiny little blue baby hairs very cute adorable little face and she's got little buck teeth um, she's got a little white mesh tank top with a silver and black um, waist piece around it. It's kind of like a corset, but not really. She's got these cute little acid wash jeans with the little fishnet in the patches. And she has a belt chain. <laughs> Too cute. Too cute. I'm going to get her accessories and stuff on and we'll take our final look. Alright, so here she is in her room with all her accessories. I have to say, the only complaint that I have about these dolls is that I feel like they're trying to keep that high standard of LOL, OMG um, style and fashion and accessories. And I feel like for the scale of this doll, they're doing a little bit too much. So I mentioned with Cherry BB how her legs felt a little crowded because you've got the ruffled socks, you've got the tall shoes, you've got the big cuffs on the pedal pushers, and it just felt like her feet and ankles were a little crowded. I kind of feel like that with um, Freshest top part here. Like the jacket is cute, but there's these mesh details like on the sleeve that you can't even see because you have to push the sleeves up in order for you to be able to see her hands. So then you lose that detail that's there and then you've got the belt bag on top of it and that adds a whole nother layer and then you've got necklaces on there that you can't really see because there's just so much going on up top. And I feel like it's MGA like doing the most, you know, we're, we're being extra, we're making sure that you're getting what you want from MGA. But I feel like with the scale and the quality pieces, maybe they could do a little less and it still be the same experience. You know what I mean? Like she could have come with the little mesh top and a little pair of underwear like the OMGs do and I could have opened her clothing pieces and dressed her and done without the jacket and just had the little corset piece and the jeans that I opened along with the accessories. And... I don't know. I just feel like they're doing a little bit much, but I love it. I love it. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you're one of those people who wants to display them as they're meant to be displayed with everything. You might want to pick and choose or else you risk them looking a little crowded. But anyways, here she is. I love her. I'm so glad I picked her up. Um, if you'd like to continue to see the tweens, tell me which one you'd like to see next. Hoops BB or... Um, Fancy Girl, I think, is the other one. Which one would you like to see the most? Leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do what makes you happy. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.